When it comes to losing fat and building muscle, I'm all about helping my clients set up the most efficient and effective routine possible. And the myth is that you have to do a ton of cardio to lose weight. You really don't. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the reasons why you should prioritize resistance training. And when I say resistance training, I mean weights, body weight, machines, resistance bands, over cardio, if your main goal is to lose body fat and build muscle. So let's dive right into it. On average, you lose three to 8% of your muscle per decade after the age of 30. And this rate speeds up after the age of 60. That's quite a bit, three to 8% of your muscle. I mean, that <laughs> that's pretty alarming after the age of 30. So as you lose muscle, your metabolism slows down, all right? So if you don't use it, you're literally like losing it and you're losing your metabolism, okay? So what I like to think of when you're building muscle, I call it passive fat burning. I don't know if I coined this term or if anyone else says this, uh, but it's like passive fat burning because the more muscle you have, the more calories you're going to burn at rest, all right? So this is why you're never going to outwork a bad diet, right? It's much better to maximize for your muscle gain and fat loss with resistance training and diet in the long run, all right? It's it's much better to do that than try to just burn as many calories as you possibly can within each individual workout. That's a losing game, right? And then also, if we look at EPOC, which is excess post exercise oxygen consumption. It's a mouthful, but EPOC. Okay. So what this is, we see that we burn more calories after resistance training or even high intensity interval training throughout the day. Like later on, when we compare it to, to cardio, it's like, yeah, you burn more calories maybe in the individual workout, but then you basically just stop burning calories after that workout with resistance training and hit training. You continue to burn calories throughout the day. Okay. So so it ends up kind of being a you know an equal effect if you look at the overall daily calories burned from exercise. So, you know, even though with like I said, within that individual exercise, you know, people always have the argument of, well, I can burn more calories doing cardio. I mean, first of all, what I just said about, you know, with resistance training and HIT training, uh, you're gonna continue to burn more calories throughout the day, right? And and like I said before, trying to just burn as many calories as you possibly can within the individual workout isn't what we really want to be concerned about overall if we're looking at the big picture, right? Because in the long run, like I said, the more muscle you have, the more calories you're going to burn at rest, the higher your metabolism. So you're setting yourself up for long-term future success, okay? Especially, you know, like I said, you know, if you're doing a lot of supersets with your resistance training, you're keeping your heart rate up, you're almost getting like that high intensity interval training effect anyway, right? So you're, you're going to keep that heart rate up, burn more calories within and later on the workout. Okay. Other benefits of strength training and resistance training include reducing the effects of arthritis, which is, you know, that's only with resistance training. You're not really going to see that effect from, from just cardio. Um, it, it improves glycemic control. So you're going to get a lot better at like utilizing carbs and things like that. It's going to, you know, especially if you're maybe pre-diabetic, stuff like that. This is going to be really good for you in the long term. Um, build stronger bones and joints to minimize the risk of osteoporosis, um, especially in women. That's big, okay? And actually reduces your risk of back pain by strengthening your your back and your core, okay? So there, there's like a common misconception that lifting weights, especially deadlifts and squats, can create back pain. Um, and many would assume that someone like me, you know, I deadlift almost 600 pounds. Um, they, they think I would have back pain, right? They see videos. I, I Whenever I post a deadlift video online, I'd get people that, why are you promoting back pain? This is horrible, all this type of stuff. But in reality, I start to get back pain when I stop working out and I sit for long periods of time. And that, so that's why I have a standing desk. That's why I work out my back and my, my low back and all that type of stuff in my core, because I'm, I'm trying to reduce and stave off any sort of back pain. So I want to ask you, like, do you want to lose weight or do you want to lose fat? Because if, if you just want to lose weight, right? If you're just like, I just want to see the scale. I just want to see the weight on the scale move. 
you can get there doing cardio, but I'll tell you this much, like you're going to lose muscle in that process, right? If you're only concerned about losing weight, you're not doing anything for your muscle mass, you're going to lose muscle. And like I said before, that's going to come with its own complications later on. But if you want to lose fat while maintaining your muscle mass or even gaining muscle at the same time, you're not going to get there by just doing cardio. Okay. The best way to improve your body composition, right? Your body fat percentage and your overall body composition is to prioritize resistance training and set up your diet for fat loss. Okay. And I'd also like to say like, I don't hate cardio, right? I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not like never do cardio. Cardio is the devil. Like stop doing cardio, right? I do cardio. I, my, I put my clients doing cardio, but what I am saying, like if you're a busy person and you're trying to just make it to the gym or just work out in general, like three to four times a week, I would strongly suggest prioritizing resistance training so that you can maximize how much muscle mass you hold on to, if not gain muscle mass while you just lose pure fat set up by the diet side. If you only do cardio to get there, you will lose muscle as well. And you can end up with that kind of skinny fat look if all you're doing is cardio. And, and the last point on this is if you increase your daily step goal to seven to 10K steps a day, you're gonna burn, burn more calories really easily as well. So if you prioritize resistance training, set up your diet right, increase the overall activity through steps and things like that, you're gonna see the, the results that you're looking for. So if you have any more questions on this, uh, then message me fat loss on Instagram. But I hope hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you and informative. Make sure to like the damn video if you like the video and subscribe for more personal development content like this. And I'll see y'all in the next video. But in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.